Hey you guys, welcome to your bi not bi-weekly, your weekend, uh, weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of earth. Uh, so if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of August uh, 20th through the 22nd, 2021. Um, also, you guys, uh, check out Divine Feminine Tarot Deck by Justin. Uh, she is the one who puts all the time stamps for you guys for the... Um, for the pick of stories so make sure you guys are uh support her her deck and uh, i hope you are watching cynthia just make sure that you uh place your information for everyone to see all right so also you guys um thank you for your love and support uh be sure to uh check the description box below for ways to reach me um, if you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process, so just make sure you're registered at Bill per call, request that call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. And then also be sure to check me out on pa Patreon for the Venus sign readings. I do those monthly, as well as check me out on TikTok. All right, so overall energy, we have the star. We've got the five of pentacles. We have the two of pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Emperor. All right, so overall energy, um, I feel like you guys are, your faith is going to be restored. There's something happened where... Uh, looks like you had given up and you were like, you know, felt like maybe all is lost. Um, also, maybe you had some sort of difficult decision or you were trying to um, juggle. Something happened where it seems like you ran out of time or something was too late or it just didn't work out, whatever it was that you were trying to make work. Um, you also could have suffered some sort of financial loss um, or whatever, but you know, this is, I feel like this is you coming out of it or it's like saying all is not lost or, you know, whatever you think you lost, you didn't, you know, th because it wasn't for you. So, uh, we've got your back, um, and we know what's best for you. Um, also you may be having a hard time trying to figure out, you know, how something is going to manifest. It's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the details. Just focus on what it is the end result what you want to happen and don't worry how the universe is going to work it out they uh, everything is so much so many things involved that will help you uh, get to that or achieve whatever goal that you're wanting um, <clears throat> also if you've been sick I feel like there is someone that has been praying for you or trying to heal you or maybe you've been trying to heal yourself yourself or maybe you've been trying to you know send some sort of love out to someone some sort of positive vibes or unconditional love for someone who you know is uh in trouble or feeling down or sad or whatever or someone who's sick um but yeah i do see uh recovery after sadness or illness um I feel like you guys are also needing to drink more water or someone is dehydrated or suffers from eczema. Um, so there needs to be maybe moisture to those dry spots or those areas. Um, your system also may have needed flushing out. Something could be going on with your health where it needs to be, your system needs to be flushed. Uh, even if you want to fast for like 24 hours and do some sort of water fast or soup fast or something. Give your body a rest. Um, now, I'm also getting something about you having some dreams. It feels like you and an air sign are maybe telepath telepathically connected or communicating some type of way. Uh, you might be uh, receiving some sort of messages or signals or maybe you guys are sending each other signals. Seems like something is meant for you to see. Like you look up and you're like, I know that's a sign for me. Um, yeah, I feel like you're you're connecting with someone in ways that are uh, beyond the physical, metaphysical. 
um, and you maybe have some sort of spiritual relationship with someone. Um, now, I also feel again like something will manifest. Uh, something will come into fruition. It's just maybe taking time to marinate or develop. But I do feel like something will come to full circle. Um, you may have unfinished business with someone. Um, so again, I'm getting strong air. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe, um, maybe Aries. But yeah, I feel like there is some sort of unfinished business that you have with someone. There needs to be some sort of a conversation. Someone needs closure. And I feel like you're going to have that opportunity to have closure. Um, I feel that you're also finding solutions to problems that, you know, you couldn't figure out. And not just relationship-wise, just uh, anything that was going on in your life. I feel like you're finding solutions to these problems. Um, I feel like the answers or suddenly you have like some sort of clarity clarity and you're like okay i understand i got it i know what i need to do i know how i need to make this work so yeah i feel like you're making something work you may have to work over the weekend as well even if it's only for a couple of hours something in regards to maybe part-time work uh your focus does seem to be on finances or your business uh, especially if you are an entrepreneur if you're an entrepreneur i feel like somebody is dealing with some sort of losses or debt um but i feel like it's going to be recovered so like i said don't worry about what that is but um i also see that someone has a vision and you may be put together with other people who share that same vision um, I feel like something's happening. Something is like divine intervention where uh, a group of like-minded people are coming together for a common goal or cause. Um, so, and I feel like you're also establishing some sort of uh, partnerships with people or trust. Anything that you keep putting off needs to be completed, especially if it does have something to do with work or business, starting your own business. Uh, some project you keep putting off. Um, be prepared to defend yourself in any type of business meetings because I feel like your ideas are being challenged or you have to fight to be heard. Um, so make sure that you're doing that. Don't be afraid. I get like a lot of confidence here. Um, yeah, I'm also getting that your faith is going to be restored. Again, something about your faith being restored. In a love situation, you may be torn. There could be two people that you're into and you, you know, you're like, I don't know who to move forward with. Um, especially usually this happens when you've gotten on a path, like you've made some sort of decision. You're like, this is the path I'm going to take. I've made my decision. The minute you start going down that path, you know, something intervenes and it's like, you know, gives you an option. So then you're like, wait a minute. Okay, well, let me make sure I want to continue on this path or do I want to go on this new one? Um, you might be unaware that, uh, someone is debating between you and another person if it's not you that this is happening to mm. hmm. okay so something's going on too where um i feel like someone is trying to exercise their power um through silence um, someone is maybe waiting to see what your move is going to be before they make a move. So I feel like you're being watched and analyzed. Um, yeah, somebody is like a power player or they like to make power moves, but they have to observe their opponent. So somebody is just being very quiet and observant and they're taking mental notes. Um, and whatever they're next move is going to be depends on something that you say or do they're waiting for you mm. 
I see someone is definitely a fan of prints as well. Male or female, someone is like a big fan of prints. Someone probably is also trying to channel Prince or feels like they have visitations from him or feel just like divinely connected to Prince uh, for, for some reason. Those of you that are into, you know, a lot of, what do you call it? Um, oh my God, why can't I think of conspiracy? No, I don't like, I don't wanna say conspiracy. But you know, you think outside the box. Um, I feel like somebody is doing some sort of research on uh, mermaids, feeling like maybe they are from Atlantis. Someone it can be cold as ice or very loving, especially if you're dealing with an air sign. I feel like you're also going to get a response to something that you have been waiting for. Yeah, I feel like you have been having anxiety in regards to what someone's response was going to be. And I feel like you're going to get your clear answer and then you're going to know what to do. You're going to have a sense of security. I feel like you may have been worried about nothing. You may have thought someone forgot about you, left you, abandoned you, um, but that's not the case. Excuse me, I'm seeing something about ritual work, but for healing. Somebody also may be interested in starting like a family business or doing something together as a family. But there's also the possibility of <laughs> manipulation. Mm. Hmm. I feel like somebody's trying to talk you out of something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you said you were going to do. And I feel like somebody's trying to talk you out of it. But you need to just go ahead do what you feel you need to do. Don't doubt your vision or your dream. Faith being restored is also uh, being reiterated. I feel like you guys might have some crazy wild dreams this weekend. They seem very lucid and very vivid. I don't know if you've ever been able to like zero in on some sort of clear piece of information in your dream. I kind of feel like that's going to happen too. Like, like you're reading some sort of document and then all of it, it's like everything is blurry, but you just like chime in on that spot and can kind of like at least see like a few lines of information. I kind of feel like you might, yep, yeah, I feel like you're going to see that. Something's going to be revealed to you. It's like some sort of secret language, hidden code, coded language. Uh, you may be seeing 1111s. Something is preparing you for a reunion or to meet someone that can help you or assist you. Yeah, everything I was just saying, something about a dream. Uh... I don't know if you're holding on to a fire sign or still thinking about a fire sign, but things have ended. Hmm. 
somebody feels like they are being ignored and they're they're coming off as you know trying to cover it up like they're so hard they don't care um i'm so alpha but that's i feel like that's not the case someone really feels some type of way um, but you know they have an image to protect Someone is feeling defeated, but again, it's like that's not the case. You will have victory in whatever it was that you were dreaming of or hoping for. There's been some miscommunication. Someone's stubbornness got them in trouble as well. Hmm. I feel like you're being asked to continue to fight for something that you really want or to stand your ground or to reclaim your power. Um, if, um, if you've been really distant with someone that you care about, just make sure that you let your guards down. That's the other message I'm getting. Like maybe you're trying to push someone away or someone's trying to do that to you. If someone is doing this to you and you're open, then they at some point will be encouraged to like let their guards down. Yeah. All right. So let's pull some energy cards. All right. What additional messages are there for Earth signs towards Virgo Capricorn? Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have indecision, action, woman holding a heart, overall energy, uh, door to romance. Okay, so some of you may be faced with some sort of opportunity. Maybe you've had some sort of vision or preview of something. You're like, this is, this could be you. This could be us. This could be whatever. Um, and so it's like you're seeing a glimpse of something. Um, but then it's up to you to make that decision or to decide. So you are having some sort of situation this weekend where you're at a crossroad. You can go down either path. Um, there's something that you feel torn about. Uh, you also may be seeing synchronicities of 33 and 44. So pay attention to that and, you know, what's happening at the time you're seeing those synchronicities or what, ask yourself what we were just thinking about. Um, but I do feel like either path is going to transform you in some way, shape, or form. Um, I feel like after some sort of hesitation, you make a, a decision and then things take off really quickly. Um, or the minute you make some sort of decision, you're like, okay, like this is what I, I want to do. Like, okay, I'm not turning back. I'm not changing my mind. This is it. And it just looks like you become very passionate and very determined about what, what it is that you want. Um, you're definitely pursuing your dreams or passions or, you know, a person or this is happening to you. They're coming towards you because they're passionate about you. I feel like someone is ready to open up who maybe wasn't open at first. I feel like they're open. Someone also could have been indecisive about, you know, whether they want to be single or enter a relationship because they know once they enter a relationship, I, I feel like it's going to take off really fast. Um, maybe that's a pattern that someone has. They're like, usually they're single, single, single. Then a relationship starts and everything is just like lightning fast. Um, so maybe someone's like, no, I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship because if I do, it's going to take off so fast. Then that leads to commitment and maybe someone is having fun. I don't know. Um, You might be actually feeling a little emotional or romantic this weekend. Maybe you're looking at love stories. Um, you might feel like your heart chakra is being activated. Um, 
definitely could feel a little bit of that activity this weekend with the flutters or um, palpitations, of course, like I always say, make sure you go to the doctor if you feel like um, something's wrong, but spiritually, it definitely could be something more like um, just feeling the love um, and feeling motivated. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like you guys have some pretty op pretty good opportunities coming towards you. Um, if you feel like you missed an opportunity before this, you might feel like, no, I did this before. Let me go ahead and and go through this door before it closes. Yeah, so it is like some sort of window of opportunity to have what you want or to accept someone's offer or forgive someone. Maybe you're ready to forgive. Maybe someone wasn't sure if they were ready to forgive, but now they are. Yeah. So basically those are the uh, messages that I have for you today. Hopefully something has resonated. Um, feel free to leave your feedback. Sending you love and grace.